Hello everyone, my name is Steve Dubois and I'm part of the IMPACT team. And recently I wrote a paper looking at different condom errors that users of condoms can make. We realized that people might be using condoms just like we tell them to, but they're actually not using them correctly. So what we wanted to look at was what are the most common condom errors made and how can you use a condom correctly? So I'd like to show you today how you can use a condom, not, well, not just use a condom, but use it correctly hoping that you can use these tips next time you use a condom. So we have our nice penis model here. Thanks for being here today. And now we're going to go over some of the tips that we have. The first tip before you use a condom is actually to check the condom for any visible damage on the outside. The reason is we don't want any holes in the condom for any ejaculate to slip through the hole during sex. So I take a look at my condom, no holes, great. The second thing we want to do is to make sure that the condom has not come into contact with any sharp object, like keys in our pocket, like fingernails, or like our teeth. So we don't want to open the condom with our teeth. That might tear the condom and again, let the ejaculate slip through. So I'm going to open the condom with my fingers, trying not to let my fingernails get in the way. And the next thing I want to do is to make sure that the condom is put on the right side up. Uh, as you might know, a condom can be slipped down both ways. Uh, either this way or I can flip it over and slip it down the other way. But one way is the right way. And the way to test that is um, I suggest using your finger. So the condom should roll down your finger pretty nicely as it is right now. And when it does that, you know that it's the right way. So after you run that test, you can go ahead and put the condom on the penis. So here we go. I'll do just that right now. Put the condom on. And as you can see, I'm just going to roll it down nicely. And if it doesn't roll down nicely for you, it probably means, again, it's on the wrong way. So just go ahead and get rid of that condom and have a new one to start. So I roll the condom down, and I want to point out two more tips now. One is I'm actually leaving space at the end of the condom here, and that's because eventually there will be some ejaculate in the condom. And so we want to make sure that there's space there for that, and it's not too tight around the head of the penis. Secondly, I want to make sure that there's no air caught in the condom here. Because if so, that might cause the condom to become loose and fall off. So I want to just squeeze out any, any air in the condom, maybe by pressing down here and then releasing any of the air right there. Okay? The next tip is to make sure we're not only using the condom correctly, but using the right lube for the condom. So what we want to use specifically is water-based lube. And here I have a lube packet, and it actually says water-based lubricant. So look for that on the lube packet. Anything that is oil-based, we want to not use. So anything in the kitchen like Crisco or, or vegetable oil, any sort of lotion that actually is oil-based and the oil erodes the condom. So we think that it's good because it's helping to provide lubricant, but it's actually breaking the condom down. And we want to make sure the condom stays intact so we use water-based lubricant. The last step is to make sure that we use the condom from start to finish. So we're not putting it on late after we've started to have sex, or we're not taking it off early before sex is over. A condom only works properly when you use it correctly, and that means using it from start to finish. So hopefully you've learned a little bit today and you can use these tips the next time you use a condom so that you're not just using the condom, but you're using it correctly. Good luck and have fun.